Okay, so now moving on to the hop-up unit here. What we have is our area with a magazine. We call it the magazine bar. Uh, just a term I've come up with myself. Not really sure what it's called. I think it might be called a magazine well. So we can go with that. It's the gray piece right here that I'm unscrewing. It's got two screws that keep it in place. Okay. I'm going to do my best as we go through here with this, with the vocabulary, simply because I do not know the exact names of all the parts. Okay. So now once you got that removed here, place that to the side, make sure you don't lose your screws. Okay, so now we have the piece that adjusts the hop up here on the outside. You'll notice there's a shim on that, simply to keep everything in nice and tight. So you're going to want to remove that. Keep the shim on there, it makes it easier to put everything back together. So we're not going to lose that as we place it to the side. Now this piece, the adjuster piece, comes right off. Okay, so now what you can do is move the hop up out from inside the outer barrel. Okay, so move this right out. As you can see right here, we have some barrel spacers. I'll show you a closer look once we get this out. Now we can move the outer barrel to the side. As you can see, we have our barrel spacers. Now on the VSRs, uh, the outer barrel actually gets thinner as we go along. So what you got to have here is a thick outer or a thick inner barrel spacer, a medium sized one, and one that is a little bit smaller than the, all of the others, okay? And we actually were working on something here with some foam spacer stuff. I actually took that out a little while back, so you can just ignore that. Three spacers should do it, two could even do it, but if you wanted to add more, you can always add more, okay? And so now inside here we have our shim, okay? So this is made by Cheese Man from the Airsoft Sniper Forms. If you're looking for an anti-flex plate kind of material thing here to help prevent the right curve issue that VSR 10s have, he's the man you want to talk to. It's Cheese Man on the Airsoft Sniper Forms, okay? So what this does is helps keep even pressure on this piece right here. See, it's plastic, so what happens is it bends. And if it bends, it'll cause that right curve issue that a lot of people have with their VSRs. Okay, so I have that in place with a screw and a shim. So basically, it's a shim on top of a shim. Screw that a bit more. Okay. Little tiny screw. And here's our shim. Works like a charm. Okay. Now we can remove this piece. This is the piece I was talking about that bends. If it bends up, the piece that applies pressure to the hop up arm will actually bend a bit and cause curving. Gotta have that even pressure applied on the hop up bucket. Okay. So get this piece out of there. Now we have to remove the two screws that keep the hop-up chamber itself, this gray piece, together. So just remove those two screws. Make sure when you put them back in that they're nice and tight. That should do it. Pry that out, okay? So now we got that. We're going to move to the side. Move the little screws here, okay? Move our anti-flex plate type thing. Okay, so now you got this little piece here. Make sure that spring stays on. Mine just fell off, so make sure that stays on when you put her back in. There we go. Just a lower piece to the hop-up adjuster itself. Here's your DangerWorks hop-up arm. I'm going to be doing a review on this later. DangerWorks hop-up arm. Uh, you can get it off Airsoft GI for around $20. Definitely worth the money. There's a Type A and a Type B arm. What you're going to want to do is match it up with the bucking you're using, okay? So I'm using a Firefly bucking here with the flat type arm. I forget if this is the A or the B, but you can look that up, the flat arm. So you see here I got my Firefly soft, and then the bottom piece of the hop-up chamber. Now, the bottom piece here you're not probably going to be able to see. It's pretty clear, but uh, it's some tape to help shim the hop-up unit to keep everything in tight. It was a little loose, so I applied a little bit of tape there over top of the hop-up pieces and that helps keep everything in nice and tight when you put everything back together. So when you put everything back together here, it fits a little nicer than it did before, a little more snug. Okay, so what you can do here is you can remove the bucking and then you can clean it, you can use soap and water, make sure it's dry before you do it. I'm simply going to take a Q-tip here just to get any dust particles or anything out of there. You can also clean your inner barrel, inner, inner barrel if you want to, okay? That pretty much sums it up for that. Uh, to clean the inner barrel, just use a paper towel. 
Uh, put it on one of the unjamming rods and you can stick it up and down and get some of the dirt out. Um, besides that, clean the bucking and then you're ready to reinstall everything. Okay. So see part two of the video here to see everything being reinstalled in case you're having some trouble with that. Okay. Thanks for watching.